Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens. Which happens, yeah. Am I starting the episode, Fiona? I don't know. Probably I, not with what we just talked about. Yeah, oh god, y'all, if you <laughs> heard what Fiona just said, right? you would freak out. Right, I'm gonna pull this guy just slightly more away, because I hate the fact that he blocks and messes up my jam. So you're oh. gonna pull him this way, but he's gonna try to pull arm you that way? <laughs> Woo! I wonder if he can hit himself. Oh, he parried me. Well, I mean, sometimes you parry an NPC, or a PC. Okay, a computer. Ugh, I'm running out low on this. It's all right. Fiona, you're I have to get better. I know, because the game only gets oh, harder. I have to get good. Okay. Although, in a way, I remember this very opening section being, like, a little difficult. Yeah. Okay, got my last souls. That's good. Cool. All right. And also, it's kind of brutal how it doesn't let you uh, level up for the first while. Mm -hmm. Now, now this is if you where you see the dude, right? You're There's not gonna do this. the guy. That red-eyed knight is business. Like he means business. Like, like you can you could do it, but you gotta parry like every hit. He much. also will just outright kill you if you screw up at all. Right. His blue-eyed friend over here is not as mean. Because because you fought the blue-eyed buddies earlier, right? Uh, no, oh, no versions they... of them. Oh. I don't want to die again. Well. Oh, helps if I helps if I actually parry. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh mm. no! Oh that, oh, that was almost quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Woo! All right. He <laughs> sees worth three hundred souls. Oh, and he dropped an item. Uh, which I imagine you can't go get now. No, we can. Oh. Uh, because this game is very linear. Like I have, there's no midpoint. There's no bonfires. So where I started right. is the starting point for this entire level. So there's a lot of shortcutting. I forget. Is it that way with every level? Yep. Oh, so we we have to open shortcuts. So this is Holy a shortcut. Shit. What the actual duck? <laughs> what the duck? Oh yeah. This is where they introduce you to fire barrels. Oh right, because if they swing near, it's like, oh no, I wish I hadn't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Like exactly what I just said. Yeah. But they have to show it to you. Yep, fall off. I should have made better oh. life choices. I should have listened to my mom and gone to veterinary school. <laughs> I thought it would be too embarrassing though. Oh yeah, so there's these chains and because the world is reactive, they don't give you any hints. You just have to play around with it. And these are things which, you know, they, you know, you would see mechanics like that in video games, but you know, it's slow. Slowly, the Souls games popularized shit like that. Mm -hmm. If you look around a lot, you'll see like dangling corpses, and then you're like, "Oh, how do I get that item?" And then you, you know, realize that you <laughs> start fires by making people fall into barrels. <laughs> like that's almost upsetting. Like you trip and then just down the stairs. Like, wait, why is there a giant amount of oil barrels? No. All right. So open the gate. And this is shortcut number one, correct? Yeah, this is the first shortcut. So this puts us really close to where we came up the first time. Let me move away from that guy so he doesn't activate. What does we, the cling ring do? It gives you more hit points when you're in soul form. So this is the thing that gives me more than 50% health at all times. It gives so, me 75. So that is to say that you're not going to take off that ring for the entire damn rest of the game. Pretty much. If we're going to manipulate world tendency, then I'm going to be in soul form a lot. So yeah, I'll be playing the game with 75% health if I leave that ring on. Great. Which is fine. Like, that's, that's, oh, wait, I hit, that's right, I hit yeah, the Yeah, you do want to go back down I to, there. I have to go get all those. Yeah, those are good items. Or you could assume that you're going to die. No, because when you die, all the items that are on the ground go away. Wait, really? Yep. If you don't pick it up and it's on the ground, it's gone forever. Even with, like, key items like this? Yep. Oh, wow. Fine. Wow. That character, like, really just had, like, a little moshing moment. For being, like, the general, like, first monsters you fight, these guys do a ton of damage. Oh, absolutely. Especially the... the oh, yeah, the Jade what, Hair Ornament. What the fuck does that do? It is a key item. Do you give it to someone? You do. I don't remember what you get in... Uh, you might not even get anything for it. Mm. Uh, it's but just I'll... a key item. Meanwhile, you got some old ragged robes, so that's cool. Although, you're, I think your your slow roll is that at 50% mm, equip burden? I think so. Why don't you throw Which, some old ragged boots on? Or, no, not boots, Um, the gauntlet or something. 
I'm only wearing the gauntlet. Or I can't wear them because they are. Hold on, where's the button? Female only. That's right. I forgot the game had gendered. Uh, well, aren't aren't we female? Oh wait, are we? Yeah. Crap. Uh, well, okay. Um, ragged robes. Oh, cause I'm, that meant that's the equip menu. Yeah, it's okay. I I was I knew you'd get there. I don't think there was a helmet to the set. Okay. <laughs> These robes. They're huge. I mean, they look cool, but they, they look really cool. Yeah. I don't know. We got we have an okay look going. Yeah, I like the look. I mean, I'm very fashion soulsy, so we just say folsy. Folsy for short. Saves time. Mm. Think of all the time that we saved just now, just talking just about it. Just saying Folsy once. It's twice even. Oh. <laughs> 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 Jokes uh, on the internet. <laughs> oh. So uh, I wonder where we get this item. Because you you will die if you fall, right? Mm, that might be far enough that you don't absolutely die. Although it puts you in a weird spot when you're done. Maybe just I don't think I want it that bad. Although there is a second item there too. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Okay. So here is our first. Here's it's, our first friend. Yeah, buddy. That guy with the armor. And we will see and that buddy for a while, dudes. right? Like that's that's a, an ongoing companion, correct? He is for this world. If you don't let him get killed, if he gets killed, he's done. He's gone. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Wow. So here you can't. So when you sprint and jump, you don't jump. You roll. There's right. no jump in this game, so you have to do creative rolling. Wow. To get here. That was pretty good. Wait, is that how you're supposed to do it? Yeah. There's no other way to get to him. Are you what? Yeah, that's it. All right. Thief ring makes it so you're harder to see. That will be consistently useful. And I can still fast roll. Okay. That was a so let's talk to him. A surprise indeed. <laughs> well, now that you are here, oh. pray thee, fend off these dreglings. Yeah. What? Why aren't? Isn't he's this... trapped. Yeah, he's trapped here. How can you be trapped when you have like sick, like faith style clockwork? Oh, wait. Oh. Just gonna go for it, huh? Oh, Fiona. Oh my God. Yes, I am. I hurt for you, but I guess it's gonna work out. It just. Oh man. Okay. All right. It's gonna work out. I have, in fact, played this game once or twice. Well, it's just like a big old thing, and I don't know. They, they have a lot of torches, and... They do. I mean, it was a lot of health, but... There. Now he jumps down. Oh, shit. I thought that was another Drakling who <laughs> was just gonna, like, give you a good old poke with the sword. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my... Ostrava. He's got, like, a badass sword... And a badass shield and a brass telescope. A shield that I would argue is near useless. Mm, I think it's really good against magic. Right? Well, well, yes, but like it just has so many holes to, that you could just shoot an arrow right through. Like I'm sure it'd still be difficult, but I mean, there is a way to make him fight. Oh, to like help out here? Yeah, because I remember him. I think helping me out here. There we go. Oh, that was kind of. Oh, cool he's got feeling. a knight over here. Oh, so you should help with that. Yeah. That'd like, be a good friend. Yeah, 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 get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. That's okay. I should have also become Oh, he, like, bed. totally peaced out. There we go. Half moon grass. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, and that was, like, a solid... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, where's over here? Nothing? Something? It's just nothing. Okay, it's just a trap. Oh, a monster closet? Oh, he's fighting somewhere. Oh, oh but... scimitar. That's a good quality weapon. Maybe we could use it. Oh, wait, he's, oh no, he's not. He's super <laughs> low. I was like, something's super low over here. Oh, it's just uh, this monster. You can hit him and piss him off too. You have to be really careful. Oh. Cause you don't wanna, you don't wanna piss him off cause then he'll. Can, can he hit you? Yeah, he'll fight you. Like if you piss him off, he'll start hitting you. Oh no, no, sorry. I mean, like if if he tries to hit an enemy, can he hit you? Uh, I think so. I don't think there's anything preventing it. Interesting. We have all these flamey barrels. Can't you just like throw a fireball? Um, uh, maybe. No, the time has passed. Ugh. Except the long swords are always so good because of the 
way the weapon moves. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel like the long swords and they're just they're just so reliable. Oh. Holy oh. shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah. uh, maybe I should put the half moon grass on my bar after all. I'm running low on crescents. Yeah, I feel like crescents like they're a pretty what solid top do? off. Please. Oh, see, I tagged him on accident. I thought we were allies. Ooh, okay. But, but once is fine, I guess. Yeah, that's why you come down here. Those are upgrade materials. Which we now have six of each. Yep, which is enough to upgrade our weapons a few times. And we just got a good shield upgrade. <laughs> the slave shield? Yeah. So instead of having a nice solid metal shield, we can use now a wooden board. Go. There is something for me to take care of. But if he dies, he's not available in the other parts of the world. So you, and he unlocks a gate, and like there's a bunch of I don't like it's there's a whole thing with this. Like I have to keep him alive. So if he wandered around and got killed, that's it. Like well, for the plot line. Which I mean, yeah, fair enough. Well, that's why. There, so there's a there's an NPC early on in Sekiro, um, on at the Harada estate, where I was very confused because. After he died, well, I or rather I took such painstaking efforts to make sure he didn't die, and I fought the boss essentially without him, and then mm -hmm. activated him. But then it turned out that, I guess, even if you were did activate him, he maybe just gets back up even if he dies. Oh boy. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, hey, are you doing anything? Oh, Fiona, you gotta throw that on the bar. Oh, oh boy. Yes, and also some old spice, I suppose. Yeah, the spice is uh, for magic power. So you have, instead of having like 10 casts of Firebolt, you have that blue bar. And it regens slowly, and then there's items to make it regen faster, and then you have spice, which you can just fill it up. Which is why magic is so powerful in this one. Wait, it, it regens by itself? Yeah. Oh. It's just the royal ring makes it regen even faster. Oh, all right. Well, which is why people always start as a royal. Yeah, because you get this ring that you, you eventually can find another of the same ring, right? But yep. it's pretty late, I think. And you only have two rings, and you're always wearing this soul ring. So. Yeah, I think I think moving to a four ring system in Dark Souls Two was a good maneuver because they they were never good enough at balancing the fact that there's always going to be a ring that that's it, you need to use that ring, like the Chloranthi ring, which makes your stamina regen mm. by like 15% faster. And it's like, that's actually really good. Like super effective. And so you're just gonna wear that ring unless they give you enough ring slots. Yeah, so there's a ton of rings in this game, but you only ever wear like two of them. Right, I mean, the, and the main problem being that no matter what character you start as, you only have two fingers, which is why <laughs> you can only use two rings. And that's why I thought it was cool in DS2, they give you four fingers. Oh. Uh trying to get the parry off but that's all right fiona i think of you as someone who can get the parry off sometimes when you want to he does that oh shit <laughs> J just did what you did that's so fucking funny in video games oh oh okay <laughs> it got weird i mean if he's gonna turn his back yeah yeah go for it oh oh but now i can do a drop Oh, there are no drop attacks. Really? I couldn't do it. Okay. Huh, maybe you just need to be higher up? Uh, I don't know. I can't. I'm starting to think that there aren't any. Oh, I can knock him off at least. Whoa! <laughs> Did he die? No, he's still alive down there. Just kind of hanging out. Might shoot you. Oh, he'll definitely shoot me. All right. Yeah, God, these levels are, these levels are huge, yeah, because there's no mid points to them. So this is your first trap. There's some dragon. See the dragon? And it's like, wow, I hope nothing bad happens if I go ahead slightly. Uh oh. If you walk down here, then the balls activate and you get into this line of dudes, and yeah, it's bad. So you just trigger it ahead of time. Yeah, I completely so There's also that. two dragons, although you could only barely see the second one there. See that you can just kind a tiny see the second one just being a buddy they're just hanging out yeah they're just chilling he's sleeping it's like, all good no need to bother them mm -mm. just big old rocks 
Those are really well ground stones. Mm. Very spherical. Oh no, now we have two polearm buddies, Fiona. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Because if this was if this was Sekiro, we just do a sweet Makiri counter. And then it'd be like, wow, I'm so good at games. But here you have to like actually be good at games. Ah. Actually, I hate fighting two of these guys because they block a lot. Okay, I'm gonna need to get some more crescent grass when we go back to town. Uh, if only there was an exploit. Hmm. Well, I mean, t traditionally what you do is farm areas for grass, mm -hmm. which took forever. So this way leads to the dragons, and there's tons of good loot over there, but there's a decent chance it'll die. Right. So instead. <laughs> Going to go. There's a, but there is another dragon right here, right? This is no. It's one of the ones over there. Comes over here to kick your ass. Oh, I didn't. I pressed the weird. Something might be up with this controller, Tony. Okay, well, but w w which button did is. you press? Just normal block buttons. Come on. Nope, he's gonna peace out. Okay, you have to manipulate the dragon into um. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Everyone will see in a second. You can kind of just hold the block button, right? I am, yeah. You don't even have to dodge them, right? Uh, I don't remember if this shield will ask chip damage or not, because it might not be 100% block. Let's find out with science. Yeah, 100% yeah, okay. block. Woo! Here's our dragon friend. Now that he's going to... Yeah! Oh shit! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now we have a lot less dudes. I was really unsure of how that was gonna work out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to remember how far back I have to be so he doesn't uh, firebomb me. You have to kind of manipulate him a little bit here so we can get through the area. Okay. No, go away. Go away. Video games. No, I think that you have to do that. Like that's how you have to do it. Because video games. Okay. So do you want to fight these guys? No. Yeah. Hey, I good shield not. usage just then. That was, <laughs> that was pretty good, Fiona. Okay, now I can deal with these guys. Oh, they turned around. Well, you do have that ring on. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I put that on. The th what was it called? The theft the ring. The thief ring. The the yes. the, the John Luke de Floof ring. <laughs> Jean Luke. John Luke's not a bad name. Oh hey, dragon. Yeah, but like in a ah, fun way. Okay. Like yippee! I like dragons. Yeah, I might. We might do like a s small cut of me getting the loot from that dragon, because it's gonna take a few tries. Because there's yeah. enough loot that you die. Yeah. I assume after we beat the boss, at least and level get up. get through this area, yeah. So we don't have to. Oh, that was a good groan. Mm. I was like, <laughs> oh my life, I uh, my unlife, because they're all yeah. dead. They're hollows. Turpentine. Turpentine is a buff for your weapon. Uh, it gives you fire, right? Yeah, it gives you a flaming flaming sword. I always thought it was turpentine, as in serpentine with turpentine. Heard turpentine. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. This raises the front gate? Yeah, this is the this is the gets you to the boss. Because the boss is really close to the initial start of the level, the shard yes. stone. Or the, not shard stone, the um, arch stone. Arch stone. Yeah. By the way, have you noticed that in a lot of these fantasy settings, there's like the, you pull a lever or lightly pull a thing, and then like a gigantic mechanism somehow like smoothly opens a gate yeah but that's how they work in real life too but really but then you'd pull it again and it would just magically work well no like it'd work one direction super nicely right or right it's counterweighted to be fairly um oh there's two guys in there or it's counterweighted to be fully self-sufficient yeah get wrecked buddy oh no <laughs> i was just i was just going to see what bob was up to I hate this. Half moon grass, sweet. And a lotus. Lotuses cure status elements and stuff. This guy's hiding in the corner. Yeah, we've all been there. Really? In the corner? 
It's nice. It's like not very damp. I prefer the spotlight. Oh, wow. in my religion. Yep, I went there. I, Fiona, now you are the one making <laughs> jokes on the internet. Oh, no. How did I get here? <laughs> How can I leave? <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, the fire guys do a lot of damage. That's, that's not great. But not like in a yippee sort of way. Nope. Oh, it auto puts items on your bar. Which sucks. Only the first time. So, like, if I didn't have one in my inventory... It'll put it there. But it still sucks. Yeah, it's it can be confusing when it messes with your bar. That's a good change in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, I know. But so a fun fact is that uh, if you emulate this game, like if you somehow get it to work. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you just shoved I it just out of the way? I just shoved it out of the way, yeah. That's funny. Um, if you can somehow get that to work, what you can do is uh, up up the internal texture resolution. Oh, so it just looks better? Right, because all the textures are, like all the textures in the game are much higher quality than they're being shown to us right mm -hmm. now. They're just being shown at a much lower quality so they can run on, on a PS3. Yeah, this game would look amazing remastered. It would look amazing remastered. They wouldn't even have to do that much. The biggest problem would be that the max resolution right now is 720p. And apparently there are reasons why that's tough. And like many from software games, and kind of like a lot of video games in general, it's hard to up the frame rate from the 30 FPS it's at right now. Because mm -hmm. a lot of stuff is tied to frame rate, like like, like your weapon durability. <laughs> yeah, frames, the passage of time. <laughs> but anyway, so when you, when you emulate it, it looks really good. Like it looks so, so good. It's ridiculous. What's this first enemy's name? Legion or something? Yeah. Oh no, I should have visited my mother more. So, funny part, because we're really close to the entrance, we could go back, upgrade weapon, uh, buy stuff, whatever we need to do, because the boss is, like, right here, and the entrance mm -hmm. is, like, right over there. But... Oh, hold on. I heard a guy. There we go. Will they follow you in? I don't know, but I wanted to equip my fire stuff, so... Oh, it was Legion weak to fire. Yeah, that's why you have a bunch of fire items. Um, Fiona, I almost um, saw you un unequip that half moon grass. <laughs> you did. You almost saw it. It's true. And then some oil or something. Yeah, so I can turpentine the blade and I can uh, throw fire bombs. So th this is a boss that is a bunch of tiny enemies all stacked together. Oh, that looks that looks cool. Yeah, it looks sweet. It's those slimes we were fighting earlier. Yeah, but now they're like, oh, there's like a lot of us. Holy shit! Fiona, what are you doing? Well, it's supposed to be a little more effective than that. Holy shit! Holy god! <laughs> oh, the best. Just the best. Oh, wow, yeah, that's... Holy god. Whoa! Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, that's a strategy. Well, it, it's effective at killing more of these little guys. Otherwise, you're here for like a year trying to kill them all. Yeah, that was that was pretty rad. Not gonna lie. It's a sick strat. Not really. What are you talking about? It's it's like um, Ugh, it's like a lung disease. That's that's the level let's of not sick. Die. Ideally, let's not die. Oh, my turpentine off. Okay, hey, you could just use another. One. Right? I mean, like... Well, I have these fire bombs too. Like, that's the other thing you want to try to use, is the fire bombs. Yeah, but who uses fire bombs? Cool people? <laughs> just... Just a little... Oh. Fine. Yeah, that was something of a jerk there move. Oh, Phalanx, not Legion. Oh! <laughs> now, is there a... There's a finite number of these things, right? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, that's actually highly effective. So like once you get down, it just has like the big spear, right? Um, I think that's right. I mean, there's uh, maybe there's always some of the little guys, just um. Not. Oh, that's, that's a great fire bombing spot, by the way. Yeah. Sure, like maybe like one or two respawns or something. I don't think they respawn. I just think some are part of the core thing, so you can't get rid of them. Yeah. Are you, are you gonna eat a little bit? No. Nope. All right. 
Oh, it, it just kind of vaguely held its spear out. All right, careful, my friend. Don't reach too close to the sun. You have plenty of time with that turpentine. Oh my god, Fiona. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Playing with fire. Hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> Jokes on the internet. <laughs> Sit in a wonder and amazement. Yes, I am funny on the internet. So the thing about weakness to fire <laughs> is that most things are weak to fire. It's because fire is really effective at all sorts of things, like cooking. Yeah. Most uh, most things can be cooked. Yes, I could be cooked. I, I'll admit it. There we go. Now uh, it's just a matter of like finishing it off, really. Yeah. Oh, I ran out of fire. Try this one weird stab. Phalanx hates it. Oh, look at that little soldier just like really keeping it all together. I think this is a really interesting and cool first It's a boss really fight. good first introduction to the game. Yeah. By far. Like introduction to bosses. You got like these things can drop loot. Okay. There. Like like what a weird I mean, I know that there was kind of that previous boss that that, we, that you fought, but like otherwise what a weird and interesting first boss. Yeah. Yep, and then the archstones. You could just continue right now, but that's right um, because each each uh, each level has like two or even three, three stages. Three levels. Three yeah. levels. So there's like five or was it six zones? There's five archstones. Five archstones. Six archstones, but one is busted. Also, what's up with Mephistopheles being here? Isn't that like a Faustian demon? Uh sure, but names get reused, right? It's cycle. Mm. The Great Wheel. This place looks awesome. Like, I agree. Oh, so good. There's our maiden in black. Maiden in black. That yes, yes, that's it. Oh, she doesn't have eyes. That's like wax, isn't it? Uh, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if it's wax. Go up there to the monumental. Can we actually talk to them yet? Yeah, this is. I have to go up there to do anything. Oh, I see. This is like go up there, talk to the monumental. Uh, and you know, I think you're going to go to the next episode of Demon Souls. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to see what the Monumental will do, hit the subscribe button or just watch the next video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, check out the details of our Patreon. It's in the end card in the video description. All right, bye, bye everybody. Oh, where's my emotes?